All right, guys, Tin Man here. Um, promised to give you something a little special to the guys on the forum. And this started out as a HHO setup and will continue to grow to being one of some sort. But uh, just along the way, I was doing a little bit of testing as I was going and came across something very interesting with this setup. Um, this up here is my steamer as you know it's all hooked up going down around and inside the tube back up through here and then out of this pipe around the back and into the manifold here. Um, this other tube is the oil breather from the engine. So what we've got here is I've got a um, air inlet valve, uh, nothing hooked to it of course, and the other inlet is going down this tube and into the bottle. The bottle at the moment um, looks a bit dirty but it's water, 80% water and 20% acetone. So the air going into the bottle is this tube here which goes over to one end of the radiator. And as you'll see the radiator is submersed in water. There's a very good reason for that. Um, the other end of the radiator is this tube here of course which is where our air goes in. On the exhaust side, we're going across here to a T-piece up to this valve here, which you can see is almost closed. And out of the bottom of the T-piece, it's coming out of this brass fitting here. So what I'm going to do is start the motor up um, with this hose just dangling around. Then I'm going to put this hose here, which is the only inlet for the bubbler fuel supply part of the system and I'm going to stick it straight in the exhaust here like that and the motor hopefully will run on 100% exhaust gases um, now there's going to be a few of you say well that can't work where's the oxygen coming from well that's uh, one third of what water is made of is oxygen so the water is coming from the oxygen and the steam going through the system um, is also going into the motor so I will see if we can get it running now um, I'm going to say it's not a perfect runner coughs and bangs and sometimes it won't go at all but we'll see how we go electric start of course Okay, well, it's away and running. You can see our bubbler's bubbling away. So now we're going to take this hose here, plug it into the exhaust. running 100% on exhaust acid. So just to show you, simple as that. Running on nothing but the exhaust gases. Um, the amount left coming out of the motor, as you can see, that tap is almost closed. It's only got that much to go hardly any comes out of it. It will run for about a minute with the tap fully turned off. Let's see if I can get it running again. So just 
just wanted to show you that this tube is the only inlet. I put the finger over it, the motor stops. So there you have it. The motor is running purely on exhaust gases. Not there at the moment. This is about how long it'll run with the exhaust completely blocked up. So there's very, very, very little coming out of the exhaust, and the only thing the motor was being fed on was of course exhaust gas and nothing else um, this tap here is fully off so the only one that was open of course is this one here so that's what I've got to show you the engine running completely from exhaust gases and it will continue to run um, Put about a cup full of acetone in there, maybe a little bit less, and I've been running it for about an hour now. Uh, the level has gone right down, it's probably had nearly twice as much, so I filled it about halfway. Uh, like I said, it's about 80% water, 20% acetone. It's been running for an hour and in a closed loop system. So the motor was breathing on nothing but exhaust gases. Okay, uh, next will be the hydrogen system. And um, that's also going to give us some more oxygen and fuel as well. And hopefully we'll be able to get rid of the acetone altogether. And still work the system so it's a complete loop system. Cheers from the Tin Man.